Hey, it's Brad at BackcountrySkiingCanada.com and today we're going to talk about the NSP 02 Pioneer FS Sup. So this is a really stable, versatile stand-up paddleboard. Because it's 35 and a half inches wide, which is wider than most paddleboards, it's very stable, even for beginners. And it's six inches thick, as you can see here, super thick board. That makes it even more stable on water because it's not going to flex as much. Um, it's ideal for beginners, as I mentioned before. It's super rigid because of that thickness. Stable, it's great for moving water. It's built for lake paddling, like here on Cooney Lake, or also on moving water because it does have some nose rocker as well. And it's just a big, solid board, so it's adapted many different kinds of paddling. It uses a fusion reinforced double layer glueless pre lamination and a double layer rail construction with a double ceiling rail band. So you can see that on the sides here. There's a lot of layers to this construction. NSP makes their boards super durable. It's one thing they're known for. You can uh, abuse this board a little bit because it's built tough. It's not going to puncture as easy as most boards. They put a lot of layers into it to make sure it stands up to that abuse of bumping into rocks and things like that. Other features that this has, it has a nose and tail rocker as I mentioned before. And you can see a little bit of nose rocker there and that's for paddling in uh, moving water or white water and quite a bit less on the back but there is a little bit there as well. So that shape is adapted to paddling on moving water, light rapids, white water, things like that. It's got a heavy duty nose ring in the front here. So that's for anchoring it when you don't want it to float away. There's also two more on the back. So there's the front one there. And you can see on the back of the board, you've got two more as well for anchoring or lashing down gear, whichever you prefer. There are a bunch of heavy duty tie downs on this board as you can see. So there's two at the front and there's two at the back. And most boards use a bungee cord to, to lash things down. It's sort of a webbing system. These guys use really thick web, and really thick ratchets as well. So you can be assured if you lash something to this, take it down a river on whitewater, it's not gonna move. You can really ratchet those things down. So a nice touch makes it really versatile for lake paddling and also on uh, whitewater water as well. So great tie downs. Um, there are also three standard Scotty mounts for attaching fishing gear, a GPS, or even a seat. And you can see those one, two, and three here. So nice attachment points for adding in gear, uh, depending on what you want to do with the board. It's got a really large thermoform EVA deck pad. So you can see it goes from about halfway up the front all the way back to the back, and it goes side to side. So this is really useful when you're putting gear on the board, you won't rough up that finish on the top, and it can take a little bit more abuse, especially if you're gonna carry a, a dog on here or something, or some extra people, it'll take that abuse, and also give you a little bit more traction so you won't slip off. So it goes front to back, side to side, something you don't see on most inflatable boards because they usually have them a little bit smaller in the middle. And this is nice because you're gonna be walking on the board front to back, side to side, Really nice feature there as well. Um, there is also two paddle holders on the board. There's one at the tail right here. So you can lash in your paddle sideways, perpendicular to the board. And there's also one right here underfoot. So if we open this up, and I should mention that a paddle is not included with the uh, O2 Pioneer. You do have to buy that separately. So you can fasten that in there like that. Keeps it nice and tidy. If you're out fishing or something, you won't lose your paddle or if you just want to do some sunbathing on the lake. And then when you're ready to carry it, you've got a nice handle, both things at once. So you don't have to have the paddle on one hand, the board on the other hand, and then try and figure out how you're going to get it up on the roof of your car. So a nice carry point for the paddle there. You do, as I mentioned, have to buy a paddle and it also doesn't come with a coil leash. So those are two things that you do have to buy. It does come with a dual action high pressure pump and the inflation rate on this board is 15 to 18 PSI, so it's quite a high pressure because it's got so much volume. You also get your repair kit. And then this pack that the board fits down into, when you take all the air out of the board, roll it up, it'll fit in this pack. You've got a nice front zipper here for some additional gear, maybe some clothes, some uh, waterproof wear, some footwear. And then on the back, you've got the standard harness system for wearing it like a pack. But what is innovative about this one is you've got roller wheels in here. So you can actually drag this through the airport on the roller wheels and you don't have to carry it on your back, which is really handy because these things can get heavy. Uh, this board is 45, 50 pounds almost. So it's quite a heavy board and it's nice to be able to roller it through the airport or wherever you're going rather than having to carry it. So a really nice and high quality materials and zippers and also compression straps on there. Just a really nice bag. I'm really happy with that one from NSP. Good job on that one. 
So um, on the back side of this, I should point out the fin system. This is one of the features as well. So you can see the fins on the back here. We've got one main fin that's quite large and then two smaller kick fins on the side. These come out with an Allen key. Um, be, be sure to carry that because it isn't included with the system as well. But if you're paddling on the lake like I am today, I'll keep all three fins in. Maxes my, maximizes the stability and ensures that it tracks a lot straighter than without that big fin in there. But if you want to go paddling down a river on some white water, then I would take out the big fin and leave in the two side ones. It gives you a little bit more versatility and agility to be able to turn the board quicker, which you're going to need to do in moving water. And also in shallower rivers, you don't want to scratch that big fin in the back. So remove that one and just run with two side fins. So a lot of different options on how you want to set up the board depending on what you're doing with it. And that center fin does come out with a quick screw here. You just take that out. So other things to note, it is 22 kilograms in weight, total weight, so it's a little heavier, but it is a big, thick board. So you're gonna add some extra weight to that. The volume on this is 350 liters. Um, it's not super heavy, I can manage it pretty easy, but you're gonna see that it's harder to carry because it is a wider board. It retails for $2,299 or $1,220 US. And again, the dimensions on that are 11 feet long by 35.5 inches wide, and then also six inches thick. So that is the NSP 02 Pioneer FS Sup. I'm gonna go take some more uh, time on the lake here since it's such a beautiful day, and uh, also get out on the river on this a little bit later because it's just made for doing both those things. And I wanna test it out on, on both water, moving and flat, and see how she does. But so far, I've been really impressed with this board. It tracks uh, surprisingly well for such a wide board. It becomes shorter because it is so wide. Most boards are a little narrower. Again, better stability but uh, I didn't think it would track as well as it does, but that big center fin really does a great job of tracking this board on flat moving water like this. And then I'm gonna take that out and head over to the river and do some uh, paddling down some moving water as well. Ideal for beginners, it's so big, it's like a tank in the water, but it still moves surprisingly well. I thought it would also be very slow to paddle, but it's not. It glides through the water really nice because you do have that rocker at the nose. And uh, just overall, a really great board. If you're looking for something for the cottage, for the kids to play on, if you need a fishing vessel out on the lake or you want to even try your hand at whitewater then consider the NSP 02 Pioneer FS SUP. Highly recommend it. Read the full review on BackcountrySkiingCanada.com and everything else backcountry, skiing, paddling, camping, hiking, you name it, it's there. Thanks.